Nolagen here at Bud's Broiler. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Best Burger Search, we're sampling the best burger options in the New Orleans area. We're visiting Bud's Broiler, which is a local New Orleans area chain famous for charcoal grilled burgers that started back in the late 1950s. To sample a cheeseburger for our restaurant review video, there used to be a lot more locations of Bud's Broiler, and now only a handful of locations remain. This location, uh, Bud's Broiler, is located in the New Orleans suburb of Jefferson at 4101 Jefferson Highway, which is about 16 minutes and 8 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. So, let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. You're invited to eat with me some New Orleans fast food, as first we feast on some cheeseburger options here, although some might argue Bud's Broiler is a bit more elevated than fast food. I have to say I have not visited a Bud's Broiler since before the lockdowns during the pandemic and there's a lot fewer locations left after that unfortunately. Now this is where you order right here. They do have some non-burger options as you can see they have seafood right here. Well, let's go ahead and check out the menu now. So we have broiler burgers. The number one meat are mayo relish sauce. Number two meat are hickory sauce. Number three meat, grated cheddar, cheese, mayo, and mustard. Number four meat, grated cheddar, cheese, chili, or, or hickory sauce. Number five meat, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, mayo, and mustard. Number six meat, same as number five with grated cheddar cheese. The Big Bud, a half pound brisket and chuck patty, lettuce, tomato, and pickles. Then we have shrimp and catfish, bun or po boy. Shrimp or catfish options available, obviously. Then we have broiler dogs, the number seven hot dog, grated cheddar cheese chili, number eight hot dog chili, number nine hot dog or hickory sauce. Then we have extras with extra meat patty, extra big bud patty, add bacon and wheat bun. Then we have our specialty sandwiches with the number 10 chicken sandwich, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, mayo, and our hickory sauce. Number 11, smoked sausage, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, mayo, and our hickory sauce. Number 12, crab cake burger, tartar sauce, and lettuce. Number 14, nugget sandwich, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, and mayo. Then we have chicken nuggets with a six-piece nugget, nine-piece nugget, 12-piece nuggets, and a kid nug meal. Four chicken nuggets, fries, and a small drink. Then we have our sides and size regular or large. French fries, number two sauce cheese fries, number two sauce fries, cheese fries, number two sauce chili cheese fries, chili cheese fries, chili fries, onion rings. Then we have chicken wings with a five piece wings, 10 piece wings and 25 piece wings. Then we have seafood plates with catfish, shrimp combo and a crab cake. All seafood plates served with fries. Then we have drinks with Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, Dr. Pepper, Root Beer, High C Fruit Punch, Lemonade, Tea, and Sweet Tea. You have small, medium, and large size drinks, then a water. Then for dessert, they have a po' boy ice cream sandwich or a milkshake, small, medium, or large, and chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry. Then we have po' boys with a hamburger dressed same as number five, hot dog dressed same as number seven, bud sausage dressed same as number 11, chicken dressed same as number 10, crab cake dressed same as number 12, and a big bud, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, mayo, and mustard. They also have beer for sale here and their hickory sauce, which is similar to barbecue sauce, is also for sale here. So I got a number three cheeseburger with no mayo, and then I got a regular fry and a large iced tea, and the total is $13.64. So you have to wait a little while for them to call your number out and come pick up your order right here when it's ready. So here we go. This is my order with a large iced tea, regular fry, and the burger here. Whoa, whoa. So... The fry size is decent looking. The large drink here, you get to have a go cup of plastic reusable style cup here. Now this burger's got a decent size thinner patty on the bun here. It's uh, not as tasty as I've had in the past, I have to say. So my past experiences and buds, the burger meat tasted better. For whatever reason, I'm not really enjoying this meat as much. So unfortunately, I would say 
at least at this location of Bud's, I am not enjoying my burger at the usual level that I have in the past at other locations of Bud's Broiler. This is actually my first visit to this location of Bud's Broiler. The uh, other ones I used to go to inside of the city of New Orleans proper city limits ain't there no more. The oldest remaining location of Buzz Broiler was right next to City Park, but sadly they closed that one down. They reopened it nearby, but it's all brand new. It doesn't have that nice, lived-in, old look we like in New Orleans. Okay, so these french fries here, really kind of bland. They definitely used uh, not a whole lot of salt. I would definitely say we need more salt and seasoning on these fries. They are very bland. And the other locations of Bud's Broiler, I've always had a lot more salt. Okay, so just like I've totally destroyed this burger and fries, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this burger and fries while you're down there. Make sure to check out links to my Patreon accounts at your tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So, I made another visit to try more of the food here, and the total for my meal was $25.17. So, I got the Big Bud, a half pound brisket and chuck patty, lettuce, tomato, and pickles. And then I also got the number 10 chicken sandwich with lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, and our hickory sauce, and I left the mayo off. So here we go, we're going to start with the chicken sandwich, and this is a grilled chicken sandwich. And it looks pretty nice overall, I have to say, as far as chicken sandwiches go. And oh, wow, this is a juicy, delicious chicken sandwich. So I've gotta say, it's better than I was expecting it was gonna be. So there's lots of juicy, good flavors here. It's not all dry and chewy like many other chicken sandwiches. This has certainly got a lot of good flavors going on. So this is uh, certainly better than the burger I had on my previous visit. So this chicken sandwich is somehow more juicy and delicious than that burger somehow. So this is certainly a pleasure. I'm very happy to enjoy this. So each and every bite's got lots of good flavor, except the meat bun ratio has kind of gotten off and I think I'm uh, left mostly bun here now, unfortunately. Ah, uh, you know, the chicken's a little slippy and slidey, but the uh, hickory sauce on here really cooked it up and made it extra delicious. The hickory sauce here is quite good and very popular with people. So there we go. We totally destroyed that chicken sandwich very quickly. Now, here we go. What do you think this is? Here is their Big Bud, a half pound brisket and chuck patty. And I have to say, this is far better looking than the other burger I had. And whoa, way better taste. This is exponentially better than that tiny little number three that I had on my previous visit. This is a much, much superior burger. I highly recommend going with this over their other burger selection, at least at this location of Buzz Broiler. Very happy with this burger. It's very delicious, very nice. Plenty of good, beefy, delicious, good flavors. The meat bun ratio is very nice. The bun is also doing a very good job. So all the structural integrity is holding together very nicely with each and every bite. And I am far, far happier all the way around with this burger. Whoa, this is definitely a real pleasure to eat with each and every bite. And the structural integrity is just marvelous, holding together in every way. The bun is holding together. The meat's not crumbling and falling apart. There's lots of great flavors and all kinds of good things on here. I also added the hickory sauce to this burger as well. So I've got mustard and hickory sauce along with the lettuce and tomato and cheese. So all those components are staying together very nicely. And all the way to the end, a great proportion of everything. So just like I've totally destroyed this burger, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you thought about the Big Bud Burger and the chicken sandwich. And while you're down there, go ahead and check out links to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So thanks so much to everybody at Bud's Broiler. We started out a little bit weak with that number three burger and the fries needed a little bit more seasoning to my taste. Then we made up for it with that really fantastic Big Bud Burger and that great chicken sandwich. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning in to the NOLA Gent channel, especially to my Patreons. Now, if you would so kindly, just go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with that YouTube algorithm. 
Then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagen here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.